and welcome back to Caffeine and Pixie Dust. So today I'm going to talk about something that I know quite a few of you have asked about, which is the Disney Photo Pass Plus system that's available at Disneyland Paris. So what is it? Uh, the Disney Photo Pass Plus system is an add-on option that you can add on to your holiday booking either before you go or once you actually arrive in the parks. It is available to purchase in the parks, but it's a little bit more expensive, but I'll go into the costs and things a little bit later. So how this works is throughout the parks and studios and on the rides, there are lots and lots of photo opportunities, either the kind of automatic photographs that are taken on, say, Big Thunder Mountain or Buzz Lightyear Ride, or at the character meet and greets, such as Princess Pavilion, or when you meet Mickey or Minnie, you know, there will be photographers there. It will take some really good photos on high quality cameras that sort of will be lovely for you to take home and print off. And that really is the benefit as well, because all of these photographs, once they're on your account, are yours to keep. You don't have to worry about ordering them through a specific company, although you can, of course, order them through Fujifilm, which um, Disney have um, partnered with for this scheme. But, you know, you can pop down to Boots to print them off. You can get them done online. You can kind of put them into a collage, whatever you like, because they're your photos, which is really good. So how does it work? Um, you, as I said, you will pick this up once you get to the parks, whether you've added it on before you go or once you get there. Um, but something I would suggest you do is that you download the app from the App Store onto your smartphone. It's, I think it's called the Disney Photo Pass Fujifilm app, but you'll see it because the logo is very distinctive. Yeah, I shall zoom in a little bit so you can see it. There it is. Um, and that's a free app as well, which is really handy. So if you have that on your phone ready, once you're actually in the parks, you can load up the code that you get within this box and very quickly start to sort of get those photos organised um, onto your app and saved. Something else you can do is you can access the website itself, maybe if you want to set up your account and your passwords and things before you go, and I will leave the link in the comments below this video for you so you don't have to search it up or anything. A little tip I would say, um, which I will cover again later, I'll just sort of go over again, is that when you are linking the code from the card that you get to your account, sometimes it's quicker to actually go onto the website, even on your smartphone, to do this. I speak from personal experience, it was about five past eight and extra magic hours and the rest of the family was queuing to meet Minnie and I rushed over to Flora's to activate our account, but it just wasn't happening, the code wasn't registering on the app for some reason. And the cast member there actually said, if you'd go onto the website proper, as it were, and put the code in there, it'll kind of filter through a bit quicker, which it did. But I mean, that's the thing is the cast members, as always, are there to help. They are so friendly and so happy to help. So it's not something to panic about. They'll, they'll make sure that you get set up properly. Um, as I said, it's, it's relatively sort of straightforward to set up. And what I would say as well is that the app, once you have it on your smartphone, you can use for future trips. Unless you buy an annual um, PhotoPass Plus, you will need to get a new code each time because it only actually lasts for the ten for ten days when you're there. So I guess you might have to buy an annual one if you're going to stay longer. Um, but the actual app itself, you can add on the code from your next trip and your next trip and your next trip. So you don't have to keep downloading the app. One thing to remember, though, is that the photos are only actually stored on the app for one calendar year from the date that the card was activated. So once you get home and you've sort of unpacked and done your washing and told all your friends what a lovely time you had, um, I would suggest that you hop online and actually download the photographs from the website onto maybe an external hard drive or your PC at home because they're going to be quite big files. They're actually um, downloaded as a zip file which you then save the photos from because as I said they're very high quality. I think you can print them up to about poster size so they're really good. Um, and just saying that as well about the sort of the photos being high res in the zip files, when you look at the photos on your smartphone, they look beautiful, they look lovely and clear, and they are. However, they are not actually high res enough to print out from. You might get away with it with like a little photo book, but to actually print off sort of proper beautiful high res prints and posters and things like that, you will need to actually download the photographs from the website once you're home. So how can you buy it? As I mentioned, you can either add this onto your holiday package before you go, or you can um, buy it once you're in the parks. And you can add this on whether you're booking direct with Disneyland or whether you're booking through an agent such as Magic Breaks or something like that. Um, and what will happen is when you check into your Disney hotel, you will be given a coupon for your PhotoPass Plus, along with any dining vouchers and breakfast vouchers that you might be given. 
So what you do with this is you take your coupon along to any of the Disneyland Paris gift shops, I believe, or the first photo purchase sort of points. But one that I recommend is to actually go to Flora's in Main Street. That's where we get, got ours because it's sort of the main photography place and they are super helpful in there. So that's and it's quite central as you go in. It's kind of just down from the gazebo on Main Street. So you'll see it quite clearly on the corner and it opens from 8 a.m. as well. Not all the shops do. So if you're cracking on with extra magic hours on your first day, Flora's is definitely the place to go. Um, so as I said, it's valid for 10 days to load photographs onto from the point that you purchase it and you activate it. And then the photos will be stored on there for a year after that first use. So when you buy it there, it costs 59.99 euros. However, if you book it um, currently, if you order it before you go, it's actually 45 pounds. So that works out about 10 pounds cheaper to add it on before you go. So it is quite a saving. Um, something I would say is that sometimes travel agents will actually add it on as a sort of a free perk. So you might get your PhotoPass Plus for free added on. So that's definitely something to take advantage of if it's available. So what do you actually get in the box? This is the beautiful box here. There we go. And in here, I mean, on the back, first of all, I would say that the instructions are in both French and English. So don't worry, it's quite simple to sort of follow that. So in the actual box, you get one of these cards on a really handy lanyard. It's so handy to have things around your neck. So you don't have to sort of forage through bags and things. So as you can see, this is the card you get with the lovely lanyard and you then get two smaller cards as well which kind of like the size you know like the Tesco club card key fobs about that size they're sort of smaller than this um, but it means that if your party gets separated for example if um, two of you want to go off to the Buzz Lightyear ride and two of you want to go to Big Thunder Mountain and the other two of you want to go meet Cinderella and Princess Pavilion actually you know you've got three cards so you're not going to miss a trick all of those photo opportunities will be taken care of which is really good. So where can you actually get the photos taken? When you have a look on the map, it does clearly mark out where the um, photo pass plus opportunities are, where the photographers are always sort of there or maybe on the rides. But just to give you an idea, I have found out the following attractions definitely have this photo pass plus opportunity. So you've got the Meet Mickey Mouse in Fantasyland. The Princess Pavilion, we have some really good photos taken in there. Um, Starport, which is where you meet Darth Vader in Discoveryland. Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain in Discoveryland as well. And the Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast in Discoveryland. We've got like eight photos from that. And in all of them, my eyes are like this because it was eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, that's quite comical in itself. Um, Big Thunder Mountain in Frontierland. Again, we've got a couple of those. I am mostly screaming nice however it does make for good you know comedy moments afterwards and um, also Pirates of the Caribbean in Adventureland so having a look at studios meet Spider-Man in the back lot again we had some really good photos taken in there great character interaction really good photo backdrop kind of in a giant newspaper and they suggest some poses and things so that was really good uh, the rock and roller coaster in back lot and also the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror which we're yet to do because I'm, as I mentioned in a previous video, we walked all the way to the top and then one member of our party decided they didn't want to do it and we had to walk all the way down again. So next time I'm getting that photo. Um, so as I said, these attractions are marked up on the map and often you will get photographers with the characters as well, but not all the time. So please don't sort of count on this. Um, for example, we had photographs done with Minnie Mouse and Donald during extra magic hours, but not with Chip and Dale. So, um, you know, what I would say is that the cast members are often quite happy to use your camera or your phone to take some photos. So don't get too upset if there isn't a photographer there for any reason. But if there is one, you know, you'll get some great pictures. So that's good. And it's also uh, worth remembering that the number of photographers will vary according to the weather. So if you're going in the depths of winter with sort of frozen fountains and everyone all muffled up, um, you're not going to get hundreds of photographers just chilling out on Main Street. Well, they literally would be chilling out, I guess, going to be freezing. But you're going to get less photographers out and about because of the weather. Um, and the same with kind of really extreme weather conditions if you've got heavy rain and all that kind of stuff. So do bear that in mind as well. 
What I would say is that Disneyland Paris are working hard to make this a valuable add-on. Um, for an example, I know they've introduced a photo point in front of the castle itself for that perfect holiday photo, which is nice because you get everyone in it. Um, and also they've got photographers present in the character meet and greets in the Disney hotels, um, sort of in the mornings. We had some really good photos done with Donald and Pluto. And it was really lovely to sort of have three or four photos from each meet, so that was really good. And also, just this month, they have just announced that they've rolled out the Disney Photo Blast Day, which is coming to Disneyland Paris on August the 19th, 2017, so later this month, for one day only, um, where they're going to have loads more photographers about. I don't know the details as yet, it's been on a few of the kind of pages on Facebook and Twitter and things, um, but I do know that if you don't have the Photo Pass Plus for your entire holiday, or for the whole year, you can actually buy it for that one day for a one-off price of €39.99. Euros. Um, and as I said, there's going to be lots more photo ops, lots more photographers around. But don't worry, because you, if you already have an existing photo pass, either for that short holiday or for the year, you can, of course, still access and save these photos. I think it's just to kind of maybe encourage people that might not have taken it out in the past to, to give it a go at that lower price. Now, is it worth it? As with everything, this is really personal. It depends on your budget, your group size, your plans, what your interests are. I mean, I would say if you can afford it and if you're planning on doing lots of rides and character meets with photographers there, then it might be worth adding on. After all, as I mentioned, each of the sort of ride photos and the character photos are 15 euros. So by the time you've met Mickey and Minnie and done sort of maybe a Buzz Lightyear quest, then that's three photos you would have wanted to have bought. So you might as well get the Photo Plus, a Photo Pass Plus, that's so tricky, and really make the most of it. Um, also something else is that if you're undecided about whether you want to get it or not, you're not sure if you're gonna get the most use out of it, you can actually take the blue slips of paper with the codes that the photographers give you um, after the rides or after the character meet and greets, keep them really safe, and then go along to a shop such as Flora's and they, you can actually buy it there and then and they'll load all those codes and therefore all those photos up onto the account. The only thing of course is you have to be really careful not to lose these slips of paper because once they're gone it would be hard to track them down. So if you are thinking of doing that maybe have a special plastic wallet that you keep them all in to make sure that you keep track of them. Also, I would say if you're planning on doing Princess for a day, then having the Photo Pass Plus is a really good thing. Um, because, for example, when you do the, the Princess for a day, you get one photo printed off, which is beautiful. However, we got 24 loaded up onto our Photo Pass, and I would have found it really hard to kind of choose which one we wanted for that one picture. So the fact that we've got all 24 on our account and now saved, which we can print off for sort of family for Christmas presents and things, it's really nice to be able to do that. Um, and I would say from a personal point of view, we've done the Photo Class Plus a couple of times. First time we did it, we only got about 20 photos, but they were great photos, kind of Spider-Man and things like that. But the second time we used it, we got 84 photos. So, you know, if you know where to look, if you know which rides to go on, then you can get nice lot of photos, which is worth it. Um, and they're all fab photos as well. They're all really lovely. They aren't blurry, people aren't blinking. They're all really good photos. So personally, we will definitely be adding it on to all of our future trips. Um, it's nice not only to get kind of the ride photos with the screaming mummy, um, but it's also lovely to be able to get those group photos that you maybe wouldn't have had where you can have all of you hugging Donald, not one person or kind of selfieing it. So yeah, it's a good thing to be able to have. And as I said, at kind of the Spider-Man meet and greet and at the Princess Pavilion, you know, you get some really nice candid photos. Maybe when you're so busy meeting um, Snow White and giving her a great big hug, the photographer is snapping away. So they're getting those natural photos where you're sort of comparing to horrors or something. It's not all like just posed. So it's definitely worth thinking about that. That said, if you can't stretch to it, it's not the end of the world. It's not going to ruin your holiday. Don't worry about it. Often the cast members are more than happy to, you know, as I've said, grab your photo, your camera or your phone and take some photos for you. So don't worry about that. You will get those photos. It's okay. Um, 
Also something to mention is if you you can get an annual photo pass as well, um, which you can buy in the parks. And if you've got an annual pass, you can use your discount on this, which is worth having. Um, and if you get the top tier infinity annual pass, you will actually get the annual photo pass plus included as well, which is quite a benefit. Get hundreds and hundreds of photos, which would be wonderful. Um, and that annual photo pass, you know, the, the clues in the name stays active for that whole year. So if you go three or four times a year or five or six, you can load up those photos every single time and really not miss out. So as always, I like to include some top tips for my viewers. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, sometimes it's easier to link the code on the main website than to the app when you're actually starting the account up. So do keep that in mind. Um, also, I would say the thing about having the app on your phone is that you can check the app as you go during the day. Sometimes they do take a while to load up, but maybe by the end of the day, if you haven't got those photos of Princess Pavilion that you know should be there, you know, you can um, pop along to Flora's or maybe sort of City Hall and just sort of, if you've got the, the time and the location, roughly when the photos were taken, they should be able to track those down for you. I think Flora's is probably the best bet for that, actually. I sound like a real fan of Flora, so nice, no, nice shop. <laughs> um, so yeah, do keep checking that app during the day to make sure that the photos are sort of loaded up as you go along. Um, also, if you really want to maximise it, do work out which rides, attractions and character meets definitely have the photographers there to really make sure that, you know, you get the most photos for your money. Um, and do feel free as well, I would say, to interact with the characters, get some really good poses, take your time, you know, you might have queued to meet Minnie, so you don't want to kind of just do that off I go, photo taken. You know, compare dresses, talk about the weather, whatever. Make sure that you get lots of nice photos. The photographers are not going to rush you away. They want to make sure that they take photos that you're going to treasure. So don't feel hassled or rushed. Just enjoy the moment and get as many photos as you want to. Um, and this moves me very neatly <laughs> on to my next video, which I'll be doing, which has been specially requested by a viewer. And this is going to be all about making the most of those character meet and greets and those interactions, maybe how to get that best, you know, the best photo you can with Woody or with Buzz and really make the most of it. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in my next video. In the meantime, as always, please do comment below with any questions or queries. Also, do let me know what you'd like to hear about. Is there anything you'd like me to cover? Because I've got plenty of stuff on the way, but I really want to make sure that this channel is tailored to you guys to make sure that you have everything kind of in place that you would like to know more about or you know want to get covered before you leave for Disneyland Paris. So please do feel free to comment below with any videos you'd like me to do. And in the meantime, as always, please do leave a nice big thumbs up, um, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.